Uh, hey guys, it's me again, Vincent. I have this Lego toy of a sword and a helmet. Uh, but I'm gonna talk about Hercules today, not Legos. Well, then, what does these have to do with? What do these have to do with anything? No, I'm not gonna show off my collection. Um, there's a lot of this kind of thing, ancient Greek uh, swords and and fighting and battles and stuff. Uh, now I'm gonna put these away. You won't see these anymore. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the birth of Hercules, Roman, uh, Greek Heracles. Now, the birth of Hercules. I'm gonna talk only about that today because even that is gonna be a little long. Now, there's going to be a bunch of horrifying names here. Um, remember Perseus? The guy who chopped off Medusa's head? Now, this guy called Perseus united a bunch of city-states together and made this kingdom called... My... City. Now, this is my best guess spelling. This is my best guess spelling. I don't even I don't even know how it's really spelled, but it's but it's pronounced my theme. Just remember that. There won't that won't even come out in any spelling tests. Uh, now this guy made this guy called Perseus made a rule that the oldest descendant of this of Perse of me would be the high king of Mycenae. Now, he, you know he united a bunch of city-states together, you know, Athens, Sparta, a bunch of places. Now, those places are a very great, are all great powerful places. So they do have their own, own, own king, but, but the weird thing is that all of those are united into one high king. That guy, that high king is the king of the king. All of the kings. So, so he's the best. He's the greatest ruler. And Hercules was destined to do that. But Hera tricked him. I'm going to talk about that later. Now, these two cousins were the oldest descendants. But, and Amphitryon was a little older than Stralanos. And this guy didn't like it. He wanted to be king, but... People hated him, and he could, so he couldn't be high king. Besides, he was even old. Besides, he was old. And the Amphitryon, this guy, he had he had all the power until this guy called Electrion. He's a king of one of the kingdoms in Mycenae. He had a daughter called Alcmene, and Electrion offered Alchemy into. Amphitrion. Yeah, yes. It offered marriage, not offered to buy her. You if you if if I keep saying that you're probably wondering is why is is the life of a, is the life of a wife in ancient Greek in ancient Greece slavery? Yeah, pretty much. Uh now Alcimene didn't like Amphitrion a lot, but she was a girl. Nah that no choices at all. Uh Amphitrion, however, liked Alchemine a lot. And this guy called Electrion, I should probably spell that out for you. Electrion. Electrion liked Amphitrion because he was rich and powerful and he was going to be I King of Mycenae. Yay, but no. Now there was a little hitch in the plan. Amphitrion didn't become the High King, tragically. And here's why. There's gonna be a bunch of wartime drama here. Amphitryon, uh, was, uh, Amphitryon spread out his arms and by accident slapped Electrion in the face and killed him. I, I know it's a lot of murders from one slap in the face, but it was a little, I think it was a little exaggerated. And Amphitryon, had to run away. Yes, Selenos used this as a chance. When his when his enemies, when his can, when his when the enemy candidates thing is going down, he has to go up. Unfortunately, no. 
Now, people would have said he was still no. Yeah, he was still no. He didn't, people did not want him to be the high king. And now, and so, but Stilettos had a wife called Nisip, he, and she was gonna have a son. Yay! And Dabitrian and Alpamine had to run away to Thebes. Uh, Thebes is not actually a very powerful place. Doesn't even sound powerful. Thebes. Okay, this is Thebes. It's not very important, but you're gonna hear about it later. A lot. Uh, now they go here and settle down. And Halcomin still hated Amphitryon. And Amphitryon was like, uh, I will prove myself to you. And, and Alchemy was like, then go destroy a bunch of cities. My brothers, my brothers went to this island called Taphos and got killed. Avenge my brothers. And Amphitryon went to, Ta to Taphos and suddenly Thebes got a whole new island all for itself. And, but, uh, there was this horrible, there was this, there was a horrible god on the loose for a beautiful woman. Our buddy over here. He's a very, very, very bad person in a way. Zeus is a mortal god. So he gets bored with his wife. Hera doesn't get bored with him. I have no idea why. Now Zeus saw alchemy and he liked what he saw. You can probably guess how it happened. So this is good this is gonna be really horrifying. But while at, but while Amphitryon was gone, Zeus disguised himself as Amphitryon and went down to Earth. And then you know what happened? Alchemy. Uh, and they had a son called Heracles. Uh, they, he's not actually Heracles, he's outside right now. And their son, his, his twin brother, is Iphicles. Not a very great guy. He's a coward. He's always been scared of his own shadow and he's always been sick and stuff. You would say he's a nerd. He's a nerd, okay? Meanwhile, Eurystheus was born first. A few hours. So they so Alcides didn't move to that place and become high king. He did. And he and that was and he got greedy. He got very, very greedy and got a big head and he's like, Oh, I'm the high king, I'm the best guy in the world. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, the people liked him. The people loved him. But, not really. But, he's greedy, first male descendant of Perseus. And now, the whole purpose of why Hercules becomes a hero starts right now. Uh... Uh, there's this strange, uh, they both grew up. They both grew up and became great people. No, actually, no. Uh, not outside. He committed murder when he was 12. You see, he had a guy, he had a music team called Linus, half-brother of Orpheus, best, music, best musician in the world. You're going to hear about him later. Not now. Uh, but, and Alcides was not a great musical player. Lion, Linus, finally lost his patience and smacked him with, and smacked Alcides in the face with a lyre. That's a harp with a tortoise, with a turtle shell on it. And basically, getting hit in the face by a tortoise shell hurts. So, Alcides got hurt. Got a big boo-boo. But, outsides, 
did something even worse. Al Sides had a very bad anger management. And then he took the the liar, the liar thing, and 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 hit it and 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 ripped it across Linus's face over and over again until Linus was dead and the liar was in pieces. So that's not so good. This book this part is gonna be this these other Parts are gonna be filled with dangerous, messy stuff. So don't worry, this is just the beginning. And outside went into exile. Six years working on a ranch. Sounds bad, huh? He loved it. You, you're probably wondering, and now you're probably wondering why he got the name Heraclius. Now I'm gonna tell you that it it involves a few gods three gods uh hercules i don't know alcides was still alcides was abandoned because alchemy knew that hera liked to torture zeus's mortal lovers and he and she threw him around and she threw him on a rock wow what irresponsibility. And uh, Zeus cared for his son. That's a new topic. Zeus cares for his son. I can't believe it. But he did anyway and sent Athena. The brainchild, you know, she got out of Zeus's head. Athena and found baby Hercules and took him to Hera. And now Hera didn't know who the kid was. And he needs feeding. And Hera's and Hera's milk is goddess is goddess breast. It's from the goddess's breast. And this kind of and this kind of stuff is actually is very very nutritious for a person. So you see, you know God's food, ambrosia, nectar, you eat it, you get super strong, super energetic. Now, goddess milk is like that. Only it has a permanent effect on you. That's what, that's partly why Hercules is so strong. Partly because Zeus is strong, and partly because he drank this. That, all that stuff. But, um... Hercules didn't like Hera from the moment he was born. When he heard Hera's name, he screamed and bit something. He teeth threw a few stuff. Um, Athena said, thank you, Hera. And, and he bit Hera. He bit Hera right here. It's gonna hurt, huh? Yeah, it did. And Hera screamed, and all her and all her breast milk sprayed onto the sky and created the Milky Way. I don't know; it's just legends. Legends are very unreliable, by the way. Uh, now that we're done talking about Hercules' birth, as I promised you I would, I'm gonna continue the story later. Thanks guys for watching until here. It's gonna get him it's gonna get more exciting, more scary, and more horrifying as we go through the other videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.